Okay, so I am back for attempt two, and this time around I've definitely been a lot more ruthless and just spamming rapid fire a lot more, and obviously that helps you get through more quickly. So that whole trying to get Kryle to deal the final blow on some things, you know, because I didn't know if she could learn anything or not. I was, I was wasting more time to do that, but honestly I don't think she learned anything. Like the three or four times she did deal the final blow, it didn't really help, so yeah, whatever. But this one, again, we're just going to finish it off quick and have a proper rematch with Archeo Demon. Because that thing's mechanics are definitely, definitely interesting. I'm trying to remember what number it was. Okay. Was it the final boss of this one, or was there something after it, I wonder? One thing I did do differently this time around is also um, I gave Kryle black magic as well. Basically, if she uses death on herself, it's like an easy way to heal. So that's why I've, I've got that as well. And I've kept dual cast um, white magic here. At least I can just do this. Another one in the bag. So this is what we got to last time. I think this is the Archeo Demon. Yeah, it's not even the final boss. Sheesh. Okay. So then, let's make sure we treat this thing with the utmost respect. I mean, last time I don't think there was too much I could have done differently. Um... It's just that confuse. It really messed me up. It really did. I don't think there's that much I can do to this thing. He used like a lot of like Mega Flare and shit, so I should get some buffs on. I don't have Mighty Guard anymore, so I need to be a bit vigilant about that stuff. So I'm going to prep a bit first and then I'm going to properly attack. Yeah, so it does bust out with the big spells. At least Cryo has a way to heal, like, fully. Ah, oh, that was an accident. That was an accident. It doesn't really matter. I don't think you really lose much here. It's just going to heal itself. Obviously, just it's just a wasted move, but it's not a danger. The only thing is I don't know how Necromancers can get MP back because Osmos is going to hurt it in terms of MP, so we've got to be careful. Um, so make sure everybody's shelled up here. And then once we get Reflect on we can start to make waves. Just float her up as well, just in case. Should be ready to roll now. Nice. 
So this time, no more messing around. Hopefully we don't get any crazy shit happening and I can just take this thing out. I mean, it would be cool. I am going to use save states now, but it would be nice if I didn't actually have to, like, use them at all. Major shield, put in work there. And drain touches still, like, reflect proof, so that's nice. Okay, curse is what caused things to really get messed up last time, but this time I'm, I'm luckier. And it's not a big deal. So these are about 10,000 a pop. Well, about 8,000 a pop. So, I should be able to get this done. Um, honestly, let's just get on with it. There's not too much for her to do right now. Let's just keep piling on the damage. I am wondering what the final boss of this particular horde is going to be. Okay. So this is what I could have done last time, but it was just that really strange. It's amazing how quickly that battle just flipped on its head. It's insane. But that's one of the cool things about this game. It does it. It does that to you a bit more so than other Final Fantasies, which is something I generally appreciate. Um, I guess we can do a bit of that too. Thank you. Um. I'm just going to Libra. If it bounces, we're still fine. Yeah. Oh, he's been put to sleep. That's interesting. Fine. I can have Cryo wake him up. But we don't need to. There you go. So, who is the final boss of this one? Okay. Really? I don't even remember what this guy's deal was, just in case it's something I don't remember, or it's like a very souped up version. I mean, I was anticipating something even more dangerous than Archeo Demon, potentially, but... did not seem it yet. For now, it looks all good. Um, don't think we need to do anything too fancy at the moment. Yeah, okay. Bottom to fire. I think a Bart's plus... Okay, wow. That was nice. Yeah, I was going to say, I think Faris plus Kryl should be enough to do the trick here. Because we do have Fire Raga now. Um, okay, that second weapon's did too much damage. It's dead, I think. Yep. Okay. There we go. So, it looks so much easier now. It's kind of funny. Got wrecked last time and I kind of breezed it this time. But that is the, the RNG element, I guess. Um... Honestly, Necromancer's up to level 4 now. But I've only got one Dark Arts ability, so it's like, what's the point? I kind of want to learn more of them, but... On the occasions where she does get the final blow, it's not really changing much, so... Obviously, it's another one where, realistically, you should bring up a list of all the enemies and see what they have and which ones you've got to take out and that kind of thing, but... I'm going to put my safe state in, by the way, just so I'm safe from having to re-record all of this. But you have my word that I haven't died again yet. This is still the same run. Um, I think I'm just going to press on, to be honest. I think at the moment I still like the cover of the dual cast white mage, even though she can't regain MP. 
going to trust to those final ethers that I have left and elixirs if I'm really in a pinch. Let's keep rolling, see what we got. Obviously, no idea how many enemies I'm going to face here. I mean, if it really is one of those, like, every single enemy in the game kind of things, then it's going to be a long day. Well, long night for me. Manticore. I'm going to get straight in with a rapid fire this time. I don't know if this is... I don't think this is, like, particularly insane, so let's just go for it. Okay, we stood that. Nice. I do want to find out what its uh, situation is. to frost. So I can fire a nice blizzarga at it. Is it also evasive like the other one? No. Okay. Good. And try and get Kryl to finish this. Yep. Okay. But you see, like, every time Kryl deals the final blow, it's just not learning anything. Oh, God. This thing was an arsehole. I just want to take it out as soon as possible. Rapid fire doesn't miss as well, so no mercy. I remember how this thing messed me up right at the start of the game. Okay, straight in with that. I would imagine like these bosses, they probably have the same HP as they do in the main game. I don't think they've they've souped up these guys. Rattle through those guys. What do we got? Okay, so this is easier than Archeo Demon, right? Like this is one that you fight earlier than Archeo Demon, so it does have fairly big HP, but I remember it not being like for this particular like level slash setup, it shouldn't be that tough, right? Let's see. I mean maybe his stats have been modified, I don't know. You're getting them double moves in like an arsehole. Always the, the hallmark of an asshole boss when it does that. Okay. Let's get a proper heal in here. I'm going to sacrifice um, Cryo slightly. But I can always use death with Cryo just to get a full heal whenever I need it, so... Nine. Okay. Yeah, this is the one that Leviathan can take out nicely. That was a sweet move. And this is the final boss for this bit as well, so it doesn't matter if I die with like low HP. If I win with like low HP. Crown got wrecked. I do want Kryl to get the ADP, so let's bring Kryl back. I was worried that if I dealt the, the holy damage at the end, like Kryl wouldn't be back by then. Because like, that move kind of happens instantaneously back to back, so... Oh, this is going to finish it, isn't it? Okay, good. Um... Shit, what did it say it was weak to? I know Holy was one of them and it was water, right? So, yeah, that's not going to help. Anyway, we'll try. Maybe this will be enough. Yeah, 
me. Just heal these two, I think. I'm going to try one more flare from Cryo and see if that works. I'm not going to do anything else at the moment. I'm just going to wait for Cryo. Wow, Mind Blast on everybody? That's impressive. Okay, this is getting annoying now. Come on, Cryo. Wow, Cryo just not getting a turn. What the hell? The haste makes such a difference here, though. That's what you're seeing. Wow, finally. <laughs> Still alive. Ah, screw you. Okay. Yeah, everyone's got fairly decent HP. I just got to keep an eye on that MP if possible, but there's only so much I can do about it. Use a couple more ethers here. And maybe a couple on her too. I think Cryo, by the time she gets the next one, she would have got another Necromancer level, so. This might be the last time I go through as a Necromancer, and then I'll probably switch it up. So, put my. refresh my save state. Are you omniscient enough to see this coming? I really like the, the design of this boss, like the rogue. Super cool. Oh, nice. A boss using return is so badass. I'm pretty sure I've never seen another boss that does that in my Final Fantasy Adventures so far. A boss that just randomly resets the entire battle. Like, not just regeneration, but like literally resetting the battle look. So maybe when it's physically attacked it does that, possibly? Because I remember that it was the fork tower, wasn't it? There was like magical enemies and there was physical enemies. And you could only use one or the other in each tower. So I think this one is programmed to do this every time you use a physical attack, so let's just use normal attack. Yeah, it's just like, no, nope, not having it. Sorry, guys. Come back with something better. So, how do you like... Ugh, I don't want to use me too. <laughs> it's just, that's just too meaty. Let's just go for this. So, I'm not going to physically attack at all here. My guess is that it's not going to run away if I use Drain Touch. Yep. Okay, um... Just in case it has some kind of auto-reflect, let me see if I can... Well, not auto-reflect, but normal reflect. No, it doesn't. Okay. 22,000. Vulnerable to wind. And I don't have my blue mage. Okay. Um, I feel like return is one of those things that I can't really stop it from using. So... I'm not going to try and find ways around it, I'm just going to use my magic here. Old worked, which was nice. Um. And yeah, we're going to have to rely on the mages to do the damage here, so I will have to just use some of that MP. Use a, a cheeky little comet here. Every little helps. I mean, also, I wonder if you counter any, if Bart's can counter magic moves. I've never really checked. 
I'm assuming if it's a counter, it's, it's not going to use return in response to it. Well. Yeah, very tame moves from Omniscient. Really curious to see how much more I have to go here. I have a feeling I died fairly early the first time round. Like, there's still maybe like another hour of stuff to take on. There you go. He finally grew a pair and did a real move. Well done, Omniscient. There you go. Okay. But that was only like one of the. That was only the first one. Oh, yes. Good old Wendy. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is, uh... I'm trying to remember what the deal was with these guys. This was another one where, like, you had to take them all out at the same time or something. I don't remember. Let's have a look. Like, some of them were taking damage and then some of them weren't or something. Yeah, so now I, f I think then they're going to stop taking damage or something. become immune to basically whatever you want to try and do. But with rapid fire, I assume they're just going to keep trying their luck till they hit the right one anyway. So it's, it's likely that they will hit one of them eventually. So I guess it's not that bad. So I'll probably just grind this one out and not really use much in the way of MP. Maybe just mess with them a little bit. Yeah, like when they're immune, they're immune, like that's it. But you're seeing like they spread their attacks out, there's always a random chance that you do some damage. That was just unlucky, I mean hitting three out of the four is kind of lame. Try to remember what happens when you actually fire off a spell. I think you there's a strong chance that you heal them. So honestly I'm just not gonna do anything. Yeah, Hurricane was that cheap arsehole move. Um Come on, man. Yeah, I feel like the game kind of does that on purpose a bit as well. <laughs> like the... There you go. Finally. And... So we'll keep just throwing the odd status just to see if it does anything. There was a trick to seeing which one you could hit, but it was like which, whichever one blinks or whatever. Let's see. There you go, he landed plenty of hits on that one. Okay. Nope. Honestly, the odds are going to go up now, so... We don't need to do too much here, I think. Just wait. This was definitely much more frustrating when you were lower level. It's not as bad, obviously. But you can kind of spam it out with these levels. So one of them got to do something now. I forget exactly what the deal was with this. Like, do they eventually just... There you go. Works for me. Dark Arts level 4. 
hole. Ah. Interesting. Very well. So, kind of same story as last time. Maybe it just depends on how lucky you get. Let's see. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> the, the odds of it being hit that few times at the moment is kind of bullshit, but fine. Yeah, that ain't so bad. Oh, God. I'm going to go for a Libra and a Holy to really get some damage in here. If we can. Oh, 18. 18,000. Yeah. We haven't summoned for a long time, but I kind of I feel like we had our fun with that. Okay. Let's just keep playing whack-a-mole with this guy. I think he's gonna die soon. Gives Cryo the chance. Oh. This was an interesting one. This one just loved casting Comet. If his HP is the same as what it is, I think it was like 40,000 or something in the story. It shouldn't last too long. But we just haven't been able to learn. I, I think... Probably before going into this, you might have had to go into like earlier areas and just really fight a lot of stuff. But honestly, you probably need a, a guide to really streamline your effort to, to learn the dark arts. Otherwise, it's a lot of poking around in the dark and kind of manipulating battles. Okay, only 25,000. Yeah, manipulating battles to try and sort of get it, get uh, crowds to deal the finishing move and stuff. And well, there's enough enemies that you can you can go a long time without actually doing the right thing. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um. I think maybe only needs like one more of those. But seriously, once again, hats off to the to the GBA version, man. So much content. I feel further validated in not playing the, the Pixel remasters, honestly. Like, missing out on all this content for me is just... It's too much. Okay, let's try and finish this. I, really, I mean, if the Pixel Remasters did have the GBA version content, of course, I'd be playing those. But for me, like, and the stuff that I like, it's just, this is too much to, to give up. So we've got some ri ribbons here, but we've got some ribbits too. Could take a risk here and still go for this anyway. The way he throws his hands up in the air is funny. This is the final boss of this bit again, so I don't think it's that important that we have reverse polarity here, because I don't think it hits physically, does it? Can it even survive this onslaught? I don't think so. It did, okay. Impressed. I think I might use a couple of elixirs now for the next one. 
Honestly, I don't know. I mean, there's like 300 enemies, man. Do I really need to defeat 300 enemies in this gauntlet? Maybe. So it's another one done. Still a clean run so far, but there hasn't really been anything challenging yet. Honestly, the Archeo Demon was the only thing that posed any kind of threat. There's no checkpoints either. Like, it gives you a chance to go back in and, and do some tweaks, but that's pretty much it, man. Honestly, I think I'm done with this Necromancer thing at the moment. I want to go back to my um, Freelancer. Go back to the old trusty blue and black combo. I, I like that combo for her. I think it works nice. And I can equip shields again. Yeah, Crystal Orb gives a pretty badass magic, so I'm going to keep that. Okay, um, now at least I can Osmos with Cryo. That's a, that's a nice boost. I wonder if it's worth changing Lena back to... Nah, I'm not going to do it. Okay, just going to go like this, refresh my save state, and get rolling. 